Tim Panasic with Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to show you the Staby Craft 2050 Super Cab. We just had these arrive in our stores. We waited for them for a long time, so we're really excited to show you this new product. We've uh, tested a couple of the boats now on the water and are really pleased with the performance. The features with Staby Craft, which you can see on their website for more information, is going to be the safety. That's going to be the primary thing that Staby Craft has is going to be the nice ride, the safety in rough water, their big water boats, all of them. So the aero pontoons is what makes them unique. So basically you have a float, float a, a separate chamber that surrounds the entire hull. Which that means is it makes the boat unsinkable. You've got an air chamber, three different air chambers with three different compartments. You can fill this boat with water, it's not going to sink. When you look at the style of the boat and how it's built, it screams big water. First of all, most of the water is going to get deflected away from the boat because of these humongous reverse chines right from the bow to the stern. Any water that does get up on the side of the hull, you've got more deflectors here, here, and then you got the protection of the cab. As we move to the uh, stern, you're going to see you got the double rub rail on the side. You can see the large reverse chine here. You can see the transducer mounting brackets. And basically these holes here are for the air chambers. So you got three different drain holes for the air chambers. The only plug you really have to remove is this one right here. This has got an optional two-step boarding ladder, very robust, easy to use. Whether you're diving, got flippers on, you're not going to be restricted to getting on and off this ladder. You've got a handhold here that's easy to access. And while we're on the outside of the boat, the, uh, this does have our standard trailer that we're putting underneath the 2050. It's an easy loader, 4,000 pound tandem galvanized trailer with brakes. You can see the hard top, you can see the rod holders. This has got the optional drop curtain and the side clears. And we'll show you the rest of the interior inside. As far as power, you can see this boat's not rigged yet. We're gonna be rigging the 2050s with either a 150 or a 175 horse. And we've got the auxiliary kicker bracket for a 99 or a 15 horsepower. You can see that even though this doesn't have the U-deck on the cockpit floor, it's got U-deck on the engine bracket areas and along the gunnels, along with the built-in rod holders, cup holders, etc. This has got the uh, optional washdown pump. I said this on the 1850. One thing that Staby Craft does really good is they actually have a basically a sculpture on the bottom of the hull that scoops water. So you could be on step, you turn on your pump, you're gonna have water flow to your washdown pump whether you're sitting still, which is the way that most washdowns work. This one's gonna work while you're underway as well. This has got the flip down jump steps, so you can use those as seats or as jump steps. This has got the standard Staby Craft uh, battery switch. This has got an optional anchor that's already included with this particular package as an option. That's the uh, circuit breaker for it. This has got a humongous fish box. Two rod holders back here, cutting board, as well as easy access to your batteries. So you could put dual batteries in here and very easy access. Port side has the same flip down. This also has, what's an option, is the walk-through transom. This simply comes out. That can just store right here. And now you got easy access in and out of the boat with that jump down step there. So typical Staby Craft, you got the humongous wide gunnels. So lots of room here, very comfortable. If you're out here fishing, you can sit here with a, a lot of comfort and uh, basically relax here all day. This has also got, this is an option, the uh, hand combing rails on the gunnels. You've got tons of storage room here. As well as this is where you can see the aero pontoon on the interior. So that's your flotation chamber. As we move forward, we've rolled up the uh, walkthrough or the drop curtain here. So this also has the IC Tech coolers in it with the uh, cushions on it. So 
basically you got very comfortable seating for four people right in this area plus you got your jump seats in the back um, this has got the upgraded elite bolster seats so like any other bolster they just flip up another thing that we should show you is these seats have got lots of adjustability fore and aft and of course they swivel as well so lots of flexibility there as far as the bolster whether you're standing up or whether you're sitting down you're gonna have the comfort and the adjustability to fit pretty much any size of body in here this has got sliding windows on both sides you've got a huge dash which will accommodate a 16 inch screen You've got a cup holder here. This boat still has to be rigged, so the controls and stuff are coming, but you've got more storage on the sides here. What's unique with this boat is you've got all the storage up in the bow. Now this has got the optional, they call it kid zone. So basically it's got the cushions up there. It's also got the finished interior, so you got the felt lining everywhere. But what's cool about this is besides storing gear up there, you can easily flip this down. So everything's still packaged here, but you'll get the idea. So you can actually sleep in this area, and this is only a 20-foot boat. There's plenty of storage as well underneath these cushions. So just to give you an idea, so you got storage there, and underneath both these cushions is all storage as well. You've also got very easy access to your anchor road here. And look at the finished storage shelves on the interior on both sides. So plenty of room here. So for a 20-foot boat, this makes it very functional for even uh, overnight adventures if you want to. So in the bow, you can see the Maxwell windless winch. That's an option on this boat. You can see the tie-off cleat. This does have an anchor, a Sarka 3 anchor with it and a road. Don't know if you noticed that in the interior. That still has to be installed. You can see it's got the, the bow rails, and this has also got the optional painted bow rails. You've got a large windshield wiper here. And we've also got the uh, handrails both here and on the roof. So if you want to store stuff up here or just simply walk around the cabin, you got someplace safe to hang on to no matter the water conditions. So on the roof, there's eight rod holders here built in. Features that get myself really excited are when I see stuff like this. Look at the way this aluminum is done here. Look at the gunnel, look at the tray that we have here. Not the gunnel, but basically an eaves trough. So basically you got water that's gonna come off the roof. It's gonna come here, it's gonna run down, it's gonna catch this lip, it's gonna hit that gunnel, and then you got another dam right here to put all the water overboard so you're not getting water on the inside of your boat. That's smart engineering. So the 2050 Super Cab really is designed for anybody that wants to be on big water. Obviously, if it's good on big water, it's going to be good on small water as well. You're not going to need a, you know, deep water to launch this. It's going to be very easy to load and unload. You don't need a big vehicle to tow it. It's still just a 20 foot boat. Uh, who this boat's not going to work for is somebody that, as an example, is going to be a walleye fisherman that wants to fish out of the bow of his boat. Obviously, the configuration of this isn't going to lead to sitting in the bow and jigging, but anything that involves fishing in a forward direction, anything from lake trout to walleye when you're fishing with that style of trolling, to tuna to anything. So you name it, pretty much any species other than jigging out of the bow of the boat, this is gonna accommodate that person very well. Hopefully this video has helped you understand the uh, Stabie Craft 2050 uh, Super Cab a little bit better. And as always, uh, like us on uh, YouTube and uh, share if you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.